<laughs> I had a very hard upbringing with my own father. He was very, very harsh, very strict. Very strict, very harsh. Moment I did something, bang! And he didn't have one stick, he had seven sticks. And he had, he used to choose his nice sticks on the way to the masjid. You know, he used to, on the way back from the masjid, he used to look at trees, the branches. That's a nice stick there. Take his pen knife out, start you know, smoothing it out, and he used to bring it home. Those days when I was young, it was a very harsh thing. And you know, there was no, hardly any emotion. But later on in life, there's a stage when I grew, grew to understand why he was like that. Because my father did not have his parents beyond the age of 12. Both his parents died at the age, age of 12. He had a very harsh upbringing. He lived himself on a very harsh life. And somehow Allah brought him to this country and somehow, you know, he made it and so on, fine. But that, that, that harshness he had was perhaps because of his upbringing. I can't blame him for that. His parents died at the age of 12. Alhamdulillah, at least my parents were alive till I was fully grown. And the second thing, you know, the second thing is that today there's no one that gets more dua from myself than my father and my mother. Why? And they, you know, the du'as I give to my father is from my heart. You know why? Because my father pushed me and pushed me and pushed me to become this Imam I am today. My father really wanted me to... He, wanted, he had four sons. And he wanted one of his sons to become Hafiz. So he tried to make all four sons Hafiz. And they all bust one by one. <laughs> and I was the last one. I said, well, I'm going to bust like you buddies. And my father said, you bust up, then I'm going to bust you up, son. You're my, last, you're my last thing that I've got. So I said, what's my crime? They all bust up, I'm going to bust up like, no, no, you can't. He was the source of me becoming half of the Quran. If he wasn't hard on me, and I honestly, I'm saying to some of you kids here, if you've got parents that are hard on you, and they are being very firm with you, and they're pushing you in this direction, you know, one day you might end up like me, giving your best du'as from the bottom of your heart to your fathers. Because I look at my colleagues who grew up with me. Some of them are in prisons, some of them, most of them are broken up with broken lives. And my father, he, he pushed me, became half, then he pushed me to become, you know, to learn the religion. And his greatest wish was that we went on, the, and that, those days I didn't understand it. Those days, I, I knew if I came out of the madrasa, I'd be jumping out the frying pan into the fire. I dare come home. My father would make me kima. He'd send me back in body bags if he had to, but I'd be studying back in the mother's house. So I had to stay inside. That was for what? That was only for a few years. That was only for two, three years. After that, I liked it. After that, I, I got used to the life. And then when the beauty of the Qur'an opens to you, when the beauty of Islam opens to you, when you start understanding what you're reading, you know, and when you enjoy it, then what? Then you can only give du'a to the person who brought you there. And my father earns those du'as from myself. 